Okay, teachers, please make sure all the kids have head coverings. There are head coverings over here. Please make sure all the kids have Megillas. We need head coverings, Megillas. If you're a Megilla reader, come to the front. If you're a Megilla reader, come to the front. And Jake and Leo, where's Leo? Jake, Leo, and Sasha are going to help you line up. Seventh grade, Josh, can you come get Kipas? Give everyone, oh, someone else did it, never mind. Can you get Megillas? Everybody should have a Megillah. Everybody should have a Megillah. Every child should have a head covering. If you're reading Megillah, please come here. Minnie, Shia, Simone. Simone is number one. You're going to sit right here. If you're reading Megilla, please come to the front, talk to Adam and Jake. They're gonna help you get seated in order. Every student needs a head covering. Every student, everybody needs a Megilla. Megilla. Magilla readers, please come to the front and you're going to be seated in order. Noah, come on up. Alma, come on up. Magilla readers, come on up. Magilla readers, Mia, Orly, come to the front. Aviv, come to the front. And they're here. Magilla readers, come talk to the seventh grade. They're going to put you in order. Magilla readers, go to Raya and Jake, go on. Mayan, Magilla readers, Harry, come on up. Everyone sitting with your buddy, you need a head covering, and each buddy pair needs a Magilla. There are head coverings over here, there are Magillas somewhere in the room. Magilla readers, come up to the front. Magilla readers, please come to the front. Everyone, please have your Magilla. For each buddy should have a Magilla. Every child should have a head covering. One Magilla per buddy. One Magilla per buddy.
Good morning, Khana Senesh. Good morning, Khana Senesh. Uh, who's Phyllis? My name is Golda. All right, settle down. Um, every student should have a head covering. Everybody should have a Megillah. Shh. And we're going to start with Nicole. Okay. Boker Tov. Okay, you have to listen really carefully. And if you're in second grade, I don't think you're allowed to guess because you already know the answer. Um, wait, who knows what I'm dressed as? Right. Back in the day, this is how we used to make phone calls on the street. There were phones called phone booths. I'm going to play I want a, a sound. Raise your hand, wait, if you know what the sound is. <laughs> Julia. It's a phone ringing, that's the easy one. <laughs> yeah, see, this is tough, this is tough. Second grade had 15 guesses and didn't get it. Let me hear, what do you think? signal is another time. Okay. Let's bring it back together. We are going to have such a joyous... This is the time to settle your bodies. You should be sitting flat. You should be facing forward. We're going to wait till everyone's quiet. Okay, so a lot of you know, but some of you may not know, that last night I just got off a 12-hour plane ride from Israel. Um, and when I was in Israel, everyone was getting ready for Purim just like we are. So the first question I'm getting from a lot of people is, oh my gosh, we've been hearing about what's going on in Israel for so many months, since October 7th, what was it like? Well, you know how you could go through a whole school day and you could have so many feelings. Maybe there's a moment where you feel sad or you feel annoyed at a friend or you did something really cool and you feel like, ooh, I'm so smart. Or you feel like, oh, this is so hard. Oh, that was so fun. So many different feelings all in a day. And when I was gone for that week, I felt like the same, I felt the same way. There were so many different feelings. It was so special and I was so happy. And I feel like it was so meaningful. 
and there were parts that felt so sad and there were parts that felt so painful and I felt lots of despair and I felt lots of hope. And across the board, I'm not gonna do questions now, Julia, but we can talk later. Um, but it also felt really restorative and really, really joyful. I have a message from you, from all of the eighth graders. So all of the eighth graders are there. Raise your hand if you're following their pictures or their blog, maybe even in your classrooms. Yeah, the eighth graders are having an amazing trip. They're, by the way, they're incredible playing volleyball on the beach in Tel Aviv. Um, they went and helped out on a moshav and picked strawberries because of the war. There aren't enough people there to work on the moshav, so they picked all kinds of fresh, delicious strawberries. Uh, and now they're in Jerusalem. And when I was there, I was also able to see kids that once were like you. They were at Senesh and they were in costumes here, and now they're grown-ups and they live in Israel. And it was so fun to see them. Some of them are in the army, and some of them are studying, and some of them have jobs. And they were remembering so many, um, they were, had so many memories of being just like you guys, kids at Hannah Senish and learning Hebrew and dressing up for Purim. And so they say hi, and they said when they're back visiting their families in New York, they want to come by and see all of you. But here we are. I said I left Israel on the fast of Purim, and everyone was fasting like a lot of people were yesterday. But there was also this bustling feeling of kids everywhere, just like this. They were in costume. And so here we are, ready to really observe the four mitzvot of Purim. And while this Purim is really, really joyful, parts of Purim are feeling a little bit, a little bit sad, too. Um, and so one message I wanted to give all of us is that Esther asked, for everyone to fast with her for three days before she went to see the king. She wanted during a time of despair and of trouble for everyone together and to feel some form of solidarity and taking care of one another. And right now we know that there's a lot of suffering both in Israel and in Gaza and also for Jews around the world. And so right now, what made me think of was how much I've seen this community and all of us come together during this time, both at Senesh and both outside of Senesh, and how important it is and how much I've watched us living our school value of Arevut, of really caring for one another. And so I wish all of us a day of joy, a wonderful celebration of Purim, Purim Sameach to everyone. So, I, Prime Minister Golda Meir, the first and only woman Prime Minister of Israel, feel so honored to be spending Purim 2024 with all of these amazing children. I heard that at Hana Senesh, the students do their own Megillah reading. Is that true? Wow, you are impressive. I also happen to know that I might have a grand nephew and a grand niece somewhere here in the room. Is that true? Do you want to raise your hand? Yeah, no. Oh, one of us wants to raise our hand. So I am honored to be with all of you. So before we start our Megillah reading with the brachot, I just want to explain to you something that will be happening during the Megillah. When you hear the name Haman, what should you do? And when the screen, let's try that one more time. I think we could do better. All right, and today, you'll notice that there is one class that's not here in the room. So usually the eighth grade helps us with our booing. But because they are not here, we had to give the honor to another grade. Sixth grade, would you do the honor of leading us in the booing today? 
The eighth grade usually also creates an incredible slideshow for us. This slideshow is brought to you by last year's eighth grade and two years ago's eighth grade. So we're going to start today with third grade. Please stand up, third grade. Turn towards the parents and grandparents. And when Shira signals to you, we will be starting the brachot. Everyone else can follow along right up here on this incredible screen. can say amen. Back in Bracha. Beautiful. Okay, we will be getting, be starting with chapter one and two. Ahasuerus was in control of the Persian Empire, which was spread out from India to Ethiopia. After King Ahasuerus ruled for three years, he threw an enormous party that lasted for 100 days, but that wasn't enough. Then he decided another seven days. At the party, he ordered Queen Vashti to come to the party to show how pretty she was, but she said no, so she was sent away. Ahasuerus needed a new queen, so he had a beauty pageant, and that's when Esther comes onto the scene. Uh, ah also, in chapter two, Mordechai overhears Big Tan and Teresh plotting to kill the king, and Queen Esther informs King Ahasuerus. We will now hear from our Megillah readers. Hamelech, 
ahus pechad nevich gagaman, akililech ramud eser, mitot zahav vakesef. Ay, mitapat pahat vesef, nedar vesochalet. Achar hadever ima ele, kesho. Chamas had melech achas verosh, zachar et vashpi ve'et asher asata ve'et asher nizar alecha. Okay, before, so Megillah readers, you're doing amazing. We're going to give you a big thank you at the end. You can go back to your classes when you're done reading. Um, before we read the next psukim, Rai is going to read for us chapter 2, verse 5 and 6. Uh, before we read verse 5, we're, this is actually a very big verse. Can you say that, please? <coughs> so here we introduce Mordechai. So we're going to say it all together right now in one second. And then Raya's going to do something very musically difficult. She's going to switch from Megillat Esther trope to a chatrop, because the second pasuk, the second verse that she's doing, is about the destruction of the temple, and it's a very sad verse, um, and it connects to the story of Tishbab. So she is going to switch to use the trope or the tune that we use for that day. Okay. So all together on shalosh, ish. It's up on the board. Ish, join me. Ish Yehudi Haya Beshushan Habira Ushmo Mordechai Ben Yair Ben Shimi Ben Kish Ish Yemini. Ish Yehudi Haya Beshushan Habira Ushmo Mordechai Ben Yair Ben Shimi Ben Kish Ish Yemini. Asher Hogla Mirushalayim, Im Hagola Asher Hogleta, Im Yehonia Melech Yehuda, Asher Hegla Nebuchadnezzar Melech Babel. Vehi Omer et Abasa, Mi Yosef Batido Ki Ema Avahem. Vanarai et vato vet shavat mare, uvmo tovia veima, metachar mordechai, lo levad. Okay, we have a special performance now by Kita Aleph. If you are in Kita Aleph, please stand up, turn around. Oh, no, wait, 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 I think I got it wrong. Sorry. Kindergarten, gone. You're coming up, you're coming up. My fault. Kindergarten, stand on up, stand on up. Sorry, Kita Alephs. Okay, kindergarten, I want you to turn around, and Anad is going to be in the back. She's going to look at you. You're going to be singing Late San Katan. I know you've been practicing. Let's have you guys sing it one time, and then everyone can join because everyone loves this one. Not you can look at Landon to check when you guys are going to start. Wow, that was beautiful. Thank you, Gon. Let's give them one more round of applause. 
Okay, before we go into chapters th three and four, three and four, when Mordechai refuses to bow down to Haman. This makes Haman angry, and he makes a plan to kill all of the Jews. But Mordechai finds out that Haman is going to kill all the Jews. He tears his clothing, he puts on sackcloth, and all of the Jews put on their worst clothing, and they fast. Now, as you could hear, we're going to be hearing the word Haman coming up in the next chapters. So get ready. Sixth grade, you know your chapters. You're going to stand up in your place and lead the booing from your spots at your appropriate chapter. Okay, I am going to... Hand the mic over to Aviv, who's going to start us out in chapter three, Parak Gimel, Pasuk Aleph. Okay, now Kita Aleph is going to sing for us. So please rise, Kita Aleph. Look at Alana. singing Chag Purim, and Alana, you can just check in with Landon over here for when you're starting. Okay, we are up to chapters five and six. Esther invites Ahasuerus and Haman. What? To a banquet. Ahasuerus honors Mordechai for saving his life by dressing him in royal clothing and letting him ride through the streets on the king's horse. And next up is Dahlia. Bye, 
ביום השלישי, ותלבש אסתר מלכות, ותעמוד בחצר בית המלך הפנימית, נוכח בית המלך, והמלך יושב על כיסא מלכותו, בבית המלכות, נוכח פתח הבית. ויאמר המלך מהרו את המן לעשות את דבר אסתר ויבוא המלך והמן אל המשתה אשר עשתה אסתר Chapter 6 יביאו לבוש מלכות אשר לבש בו המלך בסוס אשר רכב עליו המלך ואשר נתן חתר מלכות בראשו ויאמר המלך לחמן מהר כך אתה לבוש ואתה סוס אשר דיברת ועשה כן למרדכי היחודי היושבי בשער המלך אל תפל דבר מכל אשר דיברת אוקיי, אז אנחנו נתחיל את שבע, שבע ושבע יש לנו כמה פעמים בין אלה שבעים But Esther is going to reveal to Ahasuerus that Haman has planned to kill her and her entire people. Uh, and Haman is going to be punished. And the Jewish people are going to rejoice. They're going to be happy because they are alive and well. All right, so next up we have Avia. Esther HaMalka, Ayomer HaMelech LaEsther, Gam Bayom HaSheni Benishte Hayalim, Masha'el HaTelech, Esther HaMalka, Betinat Tanach, Uma Bekashatech, Al Chati HaMalka, Betinat. Vata'an Esther HaMalka, Vata'omar, אם מצא דיכן בעיניך המלך, ואם על המלך טוב, 
קנאת עמי נפשי בשאלתי, ועמי בבקשתי. כי נמכרני ואני בעמי, להשמיד, להרוג ולבן, ואילו לבנים ולמשפחות נמכרנו וחרשתי, כי אין השאר שורה בנזק המלך. שראש ויאמר אסתר המלכה מי הוא זה ואיזה הוא אשר מלאו ליבו לעשות כן ותאמר אסתר איש שר ואויב המן הרע הזה והמן Okay, before Mia reads, we're going to read these lines together. They're very important lines in the Megillah. I'm going to wait for Jamie to get to them. Okay. Umordechai yatsa milipnei, you can read with me. Hamelech bilvush malchut techelet bechor vateret zahav gedola vetachrit. Boots vargaman vayir shushan tzala vesamecha. Everyone together. La yehudim hayta ora vesimcha vesason vikar. Bet, it's your turn. They're going to sing to us about the line that we just heard. La Yudim Haita Ora Vesimcha Vesasson Vikar. So turn towards the parents and the grandparents. They have a beautiful, beautiful song for us. with Sasson with joy. That was incredible, Kita Bet. All right, I have, before I call up Alma, I have an introduction to make. So, at this point, shh, 
Haman and his sons. We read Haman and, and all ten of his sons' names in one breath. This is not easy, and I have asked Isaac to do this very special job for us. You think he can do it? Let's, yeah, we gotta, well, you can cheer on Isaac, but as soon as he begins, we need to boo. Okay, you ready? Let's see how it goes. It's a satire. Isaac, you did very well, very well. All right, our last chapter, chapter 10. We have three Megillah readers coming up. Mordechai Hayahudi Mishna Lamele Ahashverosh Vegadol the Hahudim Verotio Lariv Adonai Doresh Tob Lemo Vedaber Shalom Lehal Zoroa. All right, we have one last performance. Kita Dalit, where are you? You should be right up front. Please stand up, and you're going to look at Shira. She's going to start us out. Um, let's have Kita Dalit sing it once, and then we'll all sing together. Shoshana Yaakov. Come here to this area.
Good job, Keita Dalit. I want to, before we move on to the next event, I want to ask every Megillah reader to stand up wherever you're in the room. All the Megillah readers, stand up. Let's give them a round of applause. Stand proud. Wow. Were they amazing? Stand up, Jake. Stand up. All our Megillah readers, stand on up. Are all of the fifth graders standing up? All the M&Ms. All right, you can sit down. I just want to say that we were all volunteers. They all did that. Um, they chose to do that for the community. And we're so grateful to all of our Megillah readers. They were every single one of them excellent. So please tell them so when you see them later today. Uh, grandparents, after the um, costume parade, you will be going to the Bait Midrash, which is right in the hallway. Grandparents. Okay. Before we start our costume parade, we're going to have to split the C. So push over to this side or to this side, depending on where you're sitting. We have to make a runway. We need to make a runway. You guys. Can teachers collect the Megillas and put them back on the table over there? All right, everyone have a seat and we need a drum roll. Everyone should be sitting down. Everyone should Hello. be sitting down to start the costume parade. <laughs> Seventh grade, can you all be sitting down, please? All right, we're going to demonstrate what it means to walk the runway with your class for the parade. I have two volunteers that are going to show us. Bump, ba da -dum, bump. Voices are turned off now. Okay, we're going to demonstrate. Kids, everybody watch so when your grade is called, you know what you're going to do. Music. You're all going to come up here. Your whole class is going to get ready. And when you hear the music start, All right, why doesn't the rest of their grade come on up?
מרגישה שנפתח לה מזל, פגשה אחד גבר גבר ומשל, והיא תלחש לו, מה היא תלחש לו, קח אותי על הגמל. Seventh grade, we need you to clear the runway for us. Kindergarten, come on up. Kindergarten.
we're getting near the end. Kindergarten, clear the runway. Second grade. we're going to leave the room. Um, I'm actually going to dismiss some people at the door here. So if there's a teacher that could open up the back, like who could go upstairs and open it up, that would be amazing. Thank you, Sammy. All right, parents, I need you to make an exit. 
So if parents can come into the room and make room, we're gonna let um, we're gonna let kindergarten. No, nope, sit down, sit down, sixth grade, sit down. Kindergarten first. Go kindergarten, kindergarten. Parents, can you all come off the wall so I can get the kids out of the room? Come, you can come into the room for the moment. Parents, come into the room for the moment. Kindergarten is going to leave that way. Uh, fifth grade, you.